Hi, this is Danny J. Lewis, and I'm a course developer and tutor here at Point Blank Online. I've released tracks on labels like Defected, Strictly Rhythm, Sulfuric Tracks, Masters of Work, and also done remixes for companies such as Ministry of Sound and many others. These tutorials you're going to watch are samples taken from the Mixing Dance Music course on Logic. So, JC, what's your approach to layering kicks? Well, I mean, ideally, when layering kicks, really, what you're looking at is one kick that's going to take care of your bottom end the low frequencies, yeah. and another one that's going to take care more of your mid and high, you know, the punch, the attack of it. Um, normally, you would select two kicks that are radically different, you know, like a sub kick and a, and, yeah. and a short, punchy kick. However, it doesn't mean that you there are other ways as well to achieve uniqueness. The whole point of layering kicks is to get to achieve a sound that is going to be very personal and unique, yeah. so you know that nobody else will be using sure. it. Uh, so inevitably, you know, sometimes you might use two kicks that don't fit that well together, but still by working them a bit of EQ on them, um, you'll end up with something very unique and personal. Okay. So if we look at this example here, let's have a listen first. We've got kick one and two, and you can hear they're a bit flabby, a bit yeah. messy. This one's got attack, it's got bottom end. And you could argue this one's got attack and bottom end of as course, well. So yeah. you're going to make a choice of, let's say on this one, we want this one, it's got a nice attack and top end, you yeah. know, I think for that kind of track. Yeah. So we could, on that one, decide that it's going to be our mid and the first one will be our low frequency content, okay. if you like. Yeah. So let's start with, make that one thinner. So again, you know, I'm going to use a filter if I can. So you might think, okay, this one is really thin, it's really thin now, and obviously on its own it's not working, but let's bring the second one. And you can hear straight away, yeah. there's a bit better separation sure. on the bottom end. However, I think we need to work a bit on that. And this one, I want to get rid of the top end, yeah. and the click. A nice sub bass, don't yep. Okay, yeah. Yep, that's nice and tight now. And that's in nice. the structure of the track, you could actually use that as something in the composition. So sometimes you could have the, the thinner kick Absolutely. and then gives bring you this, the subby yeah, one yeah, in yeah, to yeah. add extra energy. Now, if this one you feel is too subby, you might want to bring tightening a yeah, little bit sure. that kind of low yeah. energy the very low end very very clean kick now isn't it if you solo just those two together and we're going to compare again you know the eq without yeah you see how we started yeah. and then yeah. we've got a very nice precise kick yeah. and still it's unique because you've made it basically yeah. uh, if you really like it you could even dance it and, of course, and then yeah. suddenly it's becoming yeah. that's how you can build your library of sounds yeah. you know yeah. so. so it's like a custom sound library yeah, yeah. 